seemed like Eagle receivers were open all night long. What's your kind of assessment of that? Uh, for the most part, we just have to be uh, closer in coverage. I uh, haven't watched the film yet, so I can't really tell you uh, what the breakdowns were. Um, but for the most part, we have to be closer in coverage on, in, on every aspect um, on the field. And we have to be able to you know, make them more predictable on second down. That was something that we wasn't able to do. Um, you know, when a team gets second and short, third and short, the playbook is pretty much wide open. And, you know, those guys did a great job of being successful on first down and kind of having us on our heels uh, throughout that game. But, you know, it's a good learning experience for us. Um, we can, you know, it's only week two, something that we can learn from, clean up the mistakes, um, and just come out next week with, with, a better, with a better focus on, you know, our assignments and being dialed in at all times so we can get a W next week. Talk about playing them tighter. Are you surprised at how loose? Like you guys didn't even make those adjustments really to get in there tighter? Yeah, I think we, uh, you know, I think we made a, a, you know some adjustments. You know, just not, not the proper ones. You know that we felt that we could, you know, put ourselves in better position. You know, um, but those guys did a great job of, you know, attacking. You know, some of the weaknesses of our defense. You know, especially that weak side. You know, weak side defender. We know those guys love to come back weak side. You know, especially when it's that uh, when it feels try to isolate the linebackers, and that's something something that they did a really good job on. You know, trying to create those mismatches, and like I said, just we'll just go up. You know, because now we know, you know, other teams are gonna try to attack us the same way. So now we have to go back on, you know, look at the film, clean up the mistakes. You know, put ourselves in better position to defend those plays, and we'll see what happens after that. Is there anything that Jalen Hurts and the Eagles did that you didn't feel like prepared for that you didn't nope. see? Nope, we did everything that we practiced on. You know, we just didn't execute the game plan, execute our assignments to the best of our ability, and that's how they end up, you know, winning this ball game. So heading into it, how did you think if you were to stop them, how were you going to stop them? Have to stop the run. You know, you have to stop the run first and foremost. This team is the top five last year, at least top five, maybe I think number one, if I'm not mistaken, number one in, in, um, in rushing attack on the offensive side of the ball. We know that's where it all starts. You know, that opens up the play action, the boots, and things like that. So. You know, you know, we, we saw it on tape. When you're able to win on first down, make them get into more um, passing situations in second and long. You know, we felt like you know the the, the, the favor um, uh, the favor of kind of working work our way a little bit. But you know, those guys were very successful on first downs. And when you have second and four, second and three, second and two, the playbook's wide open, and it's kind of just kind of hold on and, and just hope that you can stop them on those short yardage and uh, try to get them to a third down. But those guys had a great game plan. Ha take our hat off to those guys. Um, we just got to play better next time. Take us through the, the blocked field goal, and w did you view that as a chance then to get back into the game? Yeah, I definitely did. Um, I felt like I had a good shot all week. I mean, well, all game on both sides. I feel like I was getting some really, really good get offs. They got me early on in the game with the false start, but then I started to you know, kind of get indications of when the ball is going to be hiked. I got a great jump. Metellus, uh, Josh Metellus did a great job of, uh, uh, of grabbing the uh, grabbing the arm of that, uh, that, I think it was the left tackle, or uh, left wing. And I came across the edge very free. Um, I think I got it on the fifth step. And if you want to block field goals, you, it has to be on that fifth or fourth step. And, you know, has some, I think that's my fourth one in my career right now. So. Just keep it going. Long touchdown. I know you were on the other side of the field, but was that you talked about? You know, breakdowns. Was that probably the biggest one? Yeah, for sure, man. If you go back and look at that, I knew that play was coming. I said, "Here come the shot. Here come the shot." And you know, it just got behind us. Just like I said, just a, a communication breakdown on the back end. And like I said, we just have to go on, go look at this tape, seeing things we can be better at, seeing things what we can clean up, and hopefully these these errors don't roll them into next week. When you say attack the weak side in the way they did, was, was there a specific way that they did attack that allowed them to have as much success? Um, you know, they do a lot of high-low concepts, you know, coming from the field, high uh, over concept, uh, uh, over concept Cel Celtics with the number three going to the flat, two running the seven, one running the goal. So just trying to find ways, and you have a, a backside dig or a backside seven stop with the tight end, just trying to work flood one side of the field and open up a, the, the opposite area, uh, the backside area of the field. You know, they did a good job of that. You know, like I said, attacking that um, our weak side of our um, coverages. And like I said, we 
we have to do you know a better job of stopping the run to put ourselves in better positions. Thank you. All right, guys. Yep.